Hey, so this video is going to be about witchcraft, Wicca, and paganism. Wicca is a religion that is a pagan religion, and a lot of Wiccans practice witchcraft, which means, you know, spell work and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, most stereotypically spells. Um, so, uh, and like divination and stuff like that. Um, paganism is basically any kind of religion that is non-Abrahamic. And Abrahamic religions are like Christianity, Judaism, Islam, um, yeah, I think that's it. Those are the three main ones. Um, so, and like any branches beneath those, so Catholicism also falls into that. Um, <clears throat> but like paganism is like a huge umbrella term. And then witchcraft is the act of doing spells or divination or like even, you know, some forms of meditation if you're trying to visualize something, um, basically any kind of like magic that you would do. Um, so witchcraft is an act that people can practice within the religion, but they don't have to. So not all Wiccans practice witchcraft, um, or consider themselves witches, but, um, a lot of them do. So, they may just be, you know, if they don't, they may be, like, into nature and stuff like that, um, in the peacefulness. But, yeah, I hope this, um, explains a bit about, like, the differences, because not all people who practice witchcraft are Wiccans, and not all Wiccans practice witchcraft. And you can be a pagan, and you can practice witchcraft, which is what I consider myself. Though some people, depending on their definition, might consider me an eclectic Wiccan, um, which is fine. I just don't follow any gods uh, currently, and I work with like energies and stuff like that. But I describe all of this in my um, personal spiritual beliefs video if you're interested in reading about that, or listening, watching, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Like, it's a pretty, like, you can read in depth about it, um, but it's, like, the concepts, once you, like, understand them, are really basic and easy to understand. Um, so, just keep in mind when you're, like, researching stuff, or especially if you're talking about your beliefs or someone else's beliefs, that you don't call somebody a Wiccan if they're not, um, and you don't assume, like, that they use spells or do certain things. I know there are people who are witches and they only focus on certain things and they you know, or they have, like, a specialty, like, you know, a kitchen witch, a green witch, a uh, um, storm witch. Um, these are all, like, specialties, and you can be more than one, but, like, I know witches who, you know, do all this spell work, and then they're like, but I don't work with spirits, and if you are coming to me, like, wanting me to help you, like, exercise a place, um, like, I don't know, like, personally, I don't work with spirits presently, and I would have no idea where to start. I would just, you know, point you to another witch. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But, yeah, so just know that there's just, paganism is a huge umbrella, Witchcraft is also a huge umbrella that encompasses many different, like, acts, like, spell work, and, you know, some people label, um, magic as, like, white magic, black magic. I don't believe in that. Um, yeah. 
speaking of which, um, the thing about Wicca is that they follow the Wiccan read, which says, like, and it harm none, do what you will, which means, like, don't, like, try to hurt people. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they believe in the threefold law, which means, you know, whatever you put out there, you'll get back threefold, which some people believe, like, you'll get it back three times stronger. And then others believe that it means, like, you'll get it back physically, emotionally, and mentally, or something like that. Um, but either way, if that's the beliefs that you follow, then you want to try to put out good things out there. Um, and Wicca primarily um, addresses like the god and goddess, and that's one, you know, very distinguishing characteristic of the Wiccan religion. Um, so generally, if you're not following a god and goddess, you're either an eclectic Wiccan with, like, probably a looser definition of Wicca, and it's not my place to define what the definition of Wicca is, um, or you're just a pagan. So anyway, I hope that helps, um, and, you know, just because somebody does witchcraft doesn't mean they follow the threefold law, because that is a distinctly Wiccan thing. A lot of witches do believe in, you know, trying to do good, um, and, you know, good can be a relative thing, like, you know, to get, like, better or something, to advance something, it's usually, like, something has to give. So no matter what you're doing, there's the chance that someone's going to get hurt. Like, if you try to get a promotion, that might mean someone else is losing out, and they could be, you know, losing out in a big way, like maybe you got promoted because the person in that position died, um, it's possible. So you just need to keep in mind, like, whether or not you care about that sort of thing. And there are witches who do curses and hexes. Some work with them more than others, and that does not make them a bad person, because they have their reasons. And, you know, don't assume that just because they are a witch that they are a Wiccan and therefore they follow the threefold law because that is not the case for a lot of people. Um, yeah. So, and if you step on people's toes like that, you're probably gonna, you know, get people irritated that you're assuming things about their practice which aren't true. Because if someone hasn't said, oh yeah, I, I'm a Wiccan, then don't assume that they are, just because they're doing magic, basically. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, I hope this does clear things up. I know I thought of a lot of things to add on, um, but yeah, I hope that helps, you know, gives a sort of, like, frame towards, like, the picture. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.